Fitzgerald once said that you don't write because you want to say something, but you write because you have something to say. So when my mentor and teacher, Dr. Kumar Dhawre sir, texted me asking if I would like to write a chapter for the MLD Trust's home publication, Foundations of Psychology and Homeopathy, I was delighted. Well, 10 years of practicing psychiatry as well as teaching psychology to students has certainly given me my substantial bit that I can say. Hello everyone. I am the author of the chapter, Conflict, a challenge to learning and adaptation. Today, let me share a bit about my journey of becoming the author as well as a bit about the book. What if I say that homeopathy is effective yet one of the most underrated intervention when it comes to conflict resolution? Although it's a fact, yet it can be baffling for many young students of homeopathy as well as practitioners who are new in the field to understand this because conflict is usually seen merely as a disagreement between two people and hence we can't see the huge scope that we as homeopaths and homeopathy can have in its resolution. Exactly that's the purpose of my chapter. To broaden our viewpoints about conflict and understand the deep uh, scope that we have in its resolution. If homeopathic philosophy is applied correctly, it can give us a lot of understanding about all kinds of conflicts our patients go through. This information further helps us to select right similimum. And this right similimum in turn has potential to bring about those subtle changes in the mental state and dispositional traits of our patients which can easily facilitate conflict, conflict resolution in their lives. Well, easier said than done, I had to reflect all of this via my chapter. If you see our book, all the authors and the editorial team have taken humongous efforts to bridge the gap between pure psychology and homeopathy. So to stay in alignment with this spirit of the book, I had to navigate through areas extremely cautiously. First one was deciding which aspects of conflict and types and the impact will go in the background and which ones will get highlighted. And second one was to sift act cases from my experience and practice to best fit the purpose of my chapter. That's where our editorial team, who has literally left no stone unturned to get the best out of each one of his authors, guided me. After viewing all my cases freshly and the conflicts in them via lens of organon, repertory and homeopathic materia medica, and putting myself in the shoes of different readers, I was able to write a chapter which I feel that will certainly serve the purpose. Last but not the least, writing this chapter was extremely rewarding process for me with my own Eureka moments. And every author has taken utmost care to balance the theoretical aspects as well as clinical applicability. Hence, I can positively say that all the students and the readers of our book are going to benefit where they will learn uh, to apply psychological principles in homeopath homeopathic practice in a much better way. So happy reading to all of you. Thank you. Signing off, Dr. Ananya Chidare.